I'm taking the lessons from this video and relaxing because I just read the whole script and I wasn't recording. Sometimes a movie is great, but not deep. Entertaining, but not thought provoking. Insert a third example, but not a fourth. That was Puss in Boots The Last Wish on my first watch. I was happy to have watched it, but sad I didn't have a reason to talk about it here. And then, separate of that, I had a bit of an emotional crisis and realized I'd been taking this movie for granted. One part of it. Perrito. Like everybody else in the movie, it took some time before I fully appreciated him. So let's appreciate him together. If you decide to buy The Last Wish like I did, use my affiliate link in the description. Perrito is naive. Probably not the way you expected this to start, but it's true. He's naive. If there's anyone in this movie who can be taken advantage of besides the dirty peasants, but we'll talk about them in a bit, it's Perrito. It's a weakness, for sure. People like Big Jack Purple Thumb could take advantage of him with less effort than it would take to their fingers. But it's also one of his strengths. Because he's naive, he's not jaded. If he was, he wouldn't be able to see the good in people. Kind of like how Puss and Kitty can't see the good in him at first. He's basically a child. Children don't start off jaded. They start off pure and innocent. They don't grow up because they need to. They grow up because we hurt them. We lie to them. We're mean to them. We break their trust. We hurt them. Maybe not when they're two. But eventually something, someone, hurts them. And when that happens, walls start to go up. So that next time doesn't hurt as much. But what do walls do? Physical walls, much like the like button, <laughs> sorry, can provide safety. But all walls separate us. They stop us from being able to connect with each other. Look at Puss and Kitty. They both have their walls up all the time, and that's why they couldn't connect. They couldn't lower their defenses, be vulnerable, be open to attack. It takes a lot of bravery to do that. Perito is brave all the time. He's a lot like Ted Lasso in that way. Because he has no walls up, he actually gives others what they only thought their walls were giving them. Safety. A safe space has become a kind of dirty term for some, but we need safe spaces. Places where we feel comfortable letting our walls down without the risk of being hurt or punished. Therapy is one example of a good, safe space. We go to let our walls down, open up to someone, and hopefully become better, healthier people in the process. That's why Perito is a therapy pero. He's a walking, talking, safe space. Someone people can go to without the fear of being judged. Quick side note, there are two BetterHelp links in the description. They're not a sponsor, I've just used them before. You can either get two free weeks and I get nothing, or we both get one free week. Your choice, but Go for the two free weeks. Unless you're rich, then help me buy Ireland? Because Perito isn't jaded, because Perito always has his walls down, he's like a child, able to see everything wonderful about the world, everything wonderful about those around him. And like a child, he talks all the time. And that means he can be annoying sometimes, sure. But it also means that at every opportunity, he reminds those around him how lucky they are. Ultimately, kindness can be self-serving. Because Perito puts love out into the world, he gets love back. Sometimes it comes in the form of some nice smelling flowers. Sometimes it comes in the form of lifelong best friends. We can all be more like Perito, whether it's to be self-serving or to not. And I won't lie, sometimes in the short term, living so openly, yeah, you'll get hurt. But we can all think of a time that we got hurt, kept going, and the reward was worth it. The reward in this case is love. Deep, affecting love that makes a life worth living. I needed to make this video because the last couple of days I've been a bit of a big Jack Horner, just cranky complaining about every little thing while I'm at work. So I needed to dig into this movie as a way to remind myself to relax, take a breath, hit the like button, and stop and smell the roses. I'm glad I did, because I noticed three things about the film I hadn't before. First, Mama Bear is queen! She's been living in fear since Goldie joined their family, but she never let that stop her from loving her daughter unconditionally. How many parents can you truly say are unconditional in their love? I hope I am, but I know I ain't that unconditional.
Second, while the governor does not seem to be some saint, Puss in Boots was no hero at the beginning of the film. I mean, he essentially offered hundreds of poor people their own jail cell, pandered to them. People of Cordoba! It's Del Mar! People of Del Mar! Saying his own propaganda to them, put them in mortal danger, and ultimately didn't help any of them by unseating the governor from power and redistributing the wealth. I mean, he is happy literally walking all over the people who adore him. And third, if you like this video, this one takes things to a whole new level. Did you think I was going to ask you to hit the like button again? What the f*** was that? Wait, <laughs> sorry.